Update 2 on Major Hurricane Joaquin, currently with winds of 115 miles per hour and a pressure of 951 millibars, moving southwest at 6 miles per hour. A Category 3 on the Saffir Simpson Hurricane Scale are likely to intensify further near the Bahamas to become a Category 4 as it turns towards the north slowly and then gradually more quickly as it heads towards uh, the United States, where it could make landfall in North Carolina or Virginia as a category two uh, that is very speculative at the moment still and that will remain the case for a good day or so before we finally have a better idea where the storms are expected to go several models saying different things but at the moment the eastern coast of the united states you should definitely watch out for what this storm may produce in terms of a possible hurricane for the east coast who knows where just yet the warnings right now though, um, let's stick to today. Hurricane warnings in effect for the central and northern Bahamas with a tropical storm warning in effect for Andros Island and the southeastern Bahamas and a hurricane watch for Andros Island and the island of Bimini not too far from Florida, the westernmost island of the Bahamas. Uh, no warnings elsewhere just yet, uh, but that's the current situation in the Bahamas, all of the islands now under some form of warning. Um, obviously hurricane conditions are possibly being um, received already there. Sea surface temperatures are very warm right now, 28 or 29 degrees, and this could lead to more strengthening. There's certainly that potential there because sea surface temperatures are not going down, not quickly anyway. And you can see 26 degrees extending all the way to the outer banks of North Carolina. Wind shear is another positive factor for Joaquin right now as well. Very low to the north and west. Right now where the storm is, it's low to moderate and higher amounts to the southwest. Here's the water vapor imagery, a little pocket of dry air to the north of the storm, but that is gradually fading away. Um, and yeah, a decent environment around Joaquin right now also. The computer models, you can see uh, what the general trend is there with some of the models there. A lot of them saying, well all of them there saying a landfall in North Carolina. Other models do say landfall in South Carolina or further north even. Um, it remains to be seen what will happen. This is just one scenario from the HWRF model predicting a category 4 and then a cat 3 landfall. GFDL says the same thing. But I wouldn't be panicking yet in North Carolina, it's too early to say for certain. Here's the latest floater imagery from the, from the satellites, you can see how the storm's been progressing, the eyes becoming more visible, still rather ragged, but a category 3 storm we still have here, as a very strong storm near the Bahamas and still gradually edging southwest towards those islands, the central part of the islands, or indeed the southern half I suppose. A dry air still off to the north and northeast, more, more so to the northeast now, um, but I think the eye will become more apparent as time goes on. Um, certainly watch this space in the next 12 hours. Around the world, this is what we have right now. Of course, we have Joaquin, which we also always also already mentioned. <laughs> Invest 90L, which could become our next storm, Kate. Marty, still a tropical depression somehow. Uh, that will be a remnant low very soon, if not already. And Invest 94E in the Eastern Pacific could develop very soon. Invest 99W and Tropical Depression 22 are the features in the West Pacific. We could see a tropical storm landfall in the Philippines. Invest 90S also still somehow lingering in the southern Indian Ocean. 73 storms have formed so far in 2015 around the world, not too far from 1988 which had 77. 40 have become category 1 hurricanes with winds of 74 miles per hour or higher and 28 have become category 3 storms with winds of 115 miles per hour plus. No guesses, no surprises, no prizes for guessing which one did that just now, Joaquin. You can follow Force 13 on any of our outlets, the website force13.com, the main place to be for all the goings on around the world, storm-wise. Of course, you can also follow us on YouTube, Facebook, Twitter, and Instagram. Search Force 13, all in text on those. You can also add Fool 13 on Skype for tropical weather chat at any time, and to join one of our live discussions when we are going live. And our next plan to go live is going to be at 6pm UTC on October the 1st. That will be... Um, what time is that? Uh, 2 p.m. local time in the eastern United States. That's eastern time. 2 p.m. That's all for now. <laughs>